the members of the Security Council took note of the certification by the Special Representative on 24 September of the final voters list of 5.7 million that was agreed upon by the Ivorian parties on 6 September and adopted by the Presidential Decree on 9 September 2010. The members of the Security Council congratulate the Ivorian stakeholders for this significant progress towards a transparent, fair and peaceful conclusion to the electoral process. Any attempt to undo the achievements of the electoral process or add preconditions to holding the elections that could delay them would be inconsistent with the commitments taken by the parties. They further stress the need for the parties to ensure calm prior to, during and after the vote. The members of the Security Council, in accordance with Security Council Resolution 1933 and following the Secretary General's recommendations, agreed to deploy up to 500 additional informed personnel to the United Nations mission in Cote d'Ivoire. All the major candidates and protagonists in Cote d'Ivoire, they are committed to the election of 31st October. So I have no reason to doubt their strong commitment. In other words, I am confident that the 31st October first round will take place peacefully. The Ivory election law uh, foresees a second round, which is slated to be 28th of November, in case there is no downright winner at the first round. So many things can happen after the first round, depending on the outcome of the results, the, the first round. But it's too, too early to, to, to look into this matter.